What drew me to doing pediatric pulmonology was building relationships with my patients and their families. And so I knew within pulmonology, I would get that continual relationship. And I'd also get some procedures um, and get to see some unique different kinds of cases. You may come into our fellowship not knowing what you want to do when you finish, and that's really okay, and we encourage that because you're gonna experience so much within our fellowship that you will learn to either love one specific thing and we'll help guide you that way, or you'll wanna do all of it, and when you wanna finish, you wanna go out and be somewhere smaller and get the chance to do all of it. So we don't want you to leave and feel like you didn't get an exposure to one specific aspect. Uh, we want people who are just as excited as we are. Um, we're also looking for people who are adaptable, so as things change, um, as we've all unfortunately had to adapt with the current um, world situation. We want to know that uh, people are there to, to really kind of work as a group, to um, make changes as they need to come for the better. Our fellowship is a three-year program and we integrate uh, the scholarly activity with the clinical care throughout the three years because we believe that a fellow uh, during their third year who's doing their 10th month of service is different than a first year fellow doing a 10th month of service. So some fellowships are structured where they do primarily clinical work in the first year and research in the last two. We integrate them uh, throughout the three years because we believe that the research will stimulate the clinical work and the clinical work will stimulate the research. We know when they come to us that they are expert clinicians by the time they see us. They've had breadth of ex training experience. We're gonna give them depth in one field. But what we also understand is many of them haven't had much experience in research. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna work with them and we're gonna find their interests and we're gonna help them choose a project that's interesting to them and will be a springboard for their career. Our fellows get amazing mentorship and I think that what I've learned in the process of doing this is that the mentor really drives how great your research can be. They help keep you on track, they give you ideas of where you can go. Um, so our fellows do research in not even just those big categories, but in terms of within pulmonary, we have things they can do within primary ciliary dyskinesia, uh, CF, um, they can do research in asthma, BPD, we have a huge program, uh, the ventilator dependent children. Our fellows have done kind of projects within interdisciplinary programs too, so they can work with the pediatric intensivists and do a project within the peds ICU. Um, we've had fellows who do projects within the neonatal ICU. And so the big thing is not only is our department have excellent research mentors, but we have wonderful collaborating kind of relationships with the institution as a whole to find somebody that could mentor our fellow. And so we build a very comprehensive program. We're a large children's hospital. Uh, we draw patients from all over the state. We're the only medical school in the state of, of Indiana. And we have so many specialty clinics within um, pediatric pulmonology. We have a high-risk asthma program. We have allergists. And so our fellows will spend time with the allergists, uh, not just with pulmonologists. We have a very active sleep program. We do over 3,000 sleep studies every year. We read 10,000 pulmonary function studies. We do approximately 600 bronchoscopies every year. And that's one unique thing about our program is we do a lot of flexible bronchoscopy within Pete's Pulmonary. Uh, and the fellows, usually by the end of their fellowship here, have gotten over 200 procedures each. So they're going to get a ton of procedural experience. We have a pulmonary hypertension program, we have a rare lung disease program. We're one of the few centers that has primary ciliary dyskinesia. We're involved in major NIH asthma networks. Um, we have a accredited program by the CF Foundation uh, for cystic fibrosis. I think we have 40 some clinical trials going on. Uh, we have millions of dollars in grant funding. So our research program and our clinical program are completely integrated. Education within our department is uh in my opinion, pretty strong, because again, that's <laughs> where I tend to uh, get my joy. And so we have a lot of um, 
oversight from the graduate medical education department that also is collaborative with the undergraduate medical education departments and there's a great opportunity for teaching so our fellows get a lot of opportunity to teach junior students, senior students, um, interns, residents, and they, they often learn so much by teaching. The School of Medicine also offers a lot of opportunities outside of the pediatrics department, which is great. So the Academy of Teaching Scholars is something that's unique, I think, to our program. Um, and any fellow, any uh, resident and faculty can join those programs. And that's somewhere where they can get more experience in becoming a higher level educator. It's really important to get feedback from who we're working with. So getting feedback from the fellows on their own program is really important. Um, and that's one of the things that kind of uh, it excites me for the future. So the fellows have the chance, you know, we have a monthly kind of huddle, we call it. They give me feedback on, hey, this is going well or this isn't going so well as a group. It, it's amazing to me to be able to see where we were, where we've come, and then where we have the chance to be. We believe this is our time to really come forth and shine and become a leader, not only nationally, but internationally. This institution has exceeded my expectations.